Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. This is the Crazy Show Nation. The crazy because we enjoy our channel. Today is not going to be a, a good, well, a feel good video. It's, it's a rant as you can tell by the title. The troll because we don't give too much attention to what the beauty community standards of beauty are. We wear whatever brand we want to wear. We use whatever tools we want to use. We use whatever techniques we want to use to get our makeup to look the way we want it. That is the concept. And here it is about self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features. Full troll today. I have no face paint on. Only chapstick you saw me apply. Enhancing our natural features if we want to, but not because we feel like we have to. And really being okay with coming on video with no face paint on. Just loving yourself for who you are. That's the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. I do curse on my channel sometimes. No promises about today that I won't. This is what else you'll see here. So this video is just a customer service issue that I've been having uh, lately. And I refuse, <laughs> refuse to believe I'm the only one. The first one I'm going to talk about is BoxyCharm because that's easy. Whenever it says it's delivered, it's never delivered. It's usually delivered the next day. So like, why are you saying it's delivered and it's not? And so I got a notice yesterday it was delivered. I knew not to go check my mailbox. I checked it today. Today is July 15th. It's still not delivered. So why does it say delivered when it's not? Help me understand. The second thing I want to talk about is Amazon. Okay. I live on the third floor. Some of you know this. I mentioned it in other videos. And if you don't know, now you know. And I am a disabled veteran. For those of you who don't know, now you know that also. And so it's challenging for me to go up and down the steps. And with Amazon, there has been an ongoing issue of them leaving my packages on the ground floor. And the way the apartment buildings are set up where I live, it's not just one apartment building. It's an apartment complex. And when you, you know, you park in a parking lot, if you're on the ground floor, you just walk straight to your door. Like you don't go into a building to get to your door. So because I'm on the third floor, <laughs> you know, walk past the ground floor apartments, go up the steps, second floor apartments, go up the steps, you know, I'm all the way up top, you know, I'm near God, you know, me and Jesus all day long. And so some of the drivers leave the packages on the ground floor and they'll even take a picture of it and they'll say left in a safe place. And it is safe, I live in a good, you know, community. However, that's not my address. The maintenance closet is near apartment such and such. That's not even near my apartment number. So it's not near my apartment. It's not near my address. And yes, it's in a safe place. And so I used to just always put where it says, are you happy with your delivery? When they send you the email that it's delivered, I would always just click thumbs down. It'll say why. And I would click not delivered at my address. And finally, I just got sick of it because I'm just like, yo, like, just do your job. If you're a delivery driver, do your job and deliver the packages to the address. And it's hard for me to walk down three flights of stairs just to pick up a package and then walk right back up three flights of stairs. Like, that's just, it's, it is really hard for me to do that. And it just, it's a lot of wear and tear on my body. And so I started calling every time it happens. And at this point, it's like the fourth time I made a call, and that was last week. And the previous time I called, it was a person, no offense to anyone if English is not your first language. It is totally okay. This person was talking to me, and I'm like, can you say that again? Can you say it slower? And finally I said, I am really sorry, but can you transfer me to someone whose first language is English? And they said, sure. So they transferred me to someone... English was their first language because that person kept repeating themselves. I kept repeating myself. We were going around in circles and I was, I felt my blood pressure rising and I was just getting more and more upset. And I know it's not that person's fault. And so I didn't want to be rude to that person. And so when they transferred me, it was the English speaking person. And I said at one time they understood. And I do have special delivery instructions on my Amazon account that says I'm handicapped. Please deliver my packages 
to my third floor apartment door and not leave them on the ground floor like other lazy delivery drivers do. Maybe I should take that part off. <laughs> and so <laughs> I told her the situation. I said, they keep leaving my packages on the ground floor. I live on the third floor. I'm a disabled veteran. I, it's hard for me to walk down three flights of stairs just to pick up a package and come back up three flights of stairs. When is their job to deliver to my door? And, you know, she apologized, of course, and she looked at my account and she saw the picture. She's like, oh, yeah, I see the box there. I said, do you see that black railing next to the box? She said, yes. I said, that's the steps that go up to my apartment. They're leaving it downstairs on the ground near the steps. And so she put me on hold, you know, spoke to whoever. She And this, this annoyed me. She asked me who the carrier was. And I said, I just know I purchased through Amazon. I don't know who the carrier was. She looks it up and says, oh, it was Amazon Logistics. And then I'm thinking, if you can look it up and tell me, why are you asking me? So I held it in, y'all. I held it in. I did. And so she said she would, you know, escalate the, the complaint, blah, blah, blah. And she said, this will never happen again. And I'm like, this is like the third time this has happened, right? I said, you're, you're guaranteeing me this will not happen again. She said, yes. I said, I don't believe you, but I hear you. And aside from all of that, my issue is when you want to file a complaint or anything on Amazon, you have to go around all of these loops and answer all of these questions and click here and then it takes you to another page, click here, it takes you to another page. So it takes a long time to even get to where it says, would you like someone to call you? And if that takes like 10 minutes to even get to that point to, yes, someone can call me. They do call within like three minutes though. They do call really quick. So that, you know, okay. But it just takes so long to even get to that point. So the last time I called, non-English speaking person, well, they were. English was not their first language. And I said to him, I'm calling because the delivery driver did not deliver my package to my door. And it's been an ongoing issue. This is not the first time that I've called for this complaint. And he's telling me about, we can add special instructions to your account. I said, I already have it in my account to deliver to my door and that I live on the third floor. And so then he says, well, would you like a replacement? I said, I do have the packages. I'm calling because I want the packages delivered to my door. And he says, oh, okay, so it wasn't delivered. Would you like a replacement? And I'm just like, here we go again. I said, I said it slower. I said, I do have both packages. My complaint is they were not delivered to my door. I am handicapped. It's very hard for me to walk down three flights of stairs to pick up packages and turn around and carry them up three flights of stairs, especially when it is the delivery driver's job to deliver packages to the door. And so he says, oh, they didn't deliver to your door. Would you like a replacement or a refund? And I'm, I, I felt it rising. I felt it rising. The throttle was going higher and higher. And so I said to him again, so this is like the third time I said, I do have the packages. So I said, let me ask you this question. Is it the delivery driver's job to deliver packages to the address? He says, yes. I said, the delivery driver is not doing their job because they're not leaving my packages at my address. They're leaving them down near apartment such and such in front of a maintenance closet. The maintenance closet is not near my apartment. That's the problem. And me being handicapped, I can't just keep going up and down three flights of stairs. So he says, well, I can transfer you to a, to a department that can handle people like you. You don't tell somebody people like you. So I, I, I took a deep breath. I said, can you tell me what you mean by people like me? Are you referring to handicapped people? or people who the delivery driver is not delivering packages to their address. And he said, handicapped people. I said, the problem is not that I'm handicapped. The problem, and now I am raising my voice on the phone at this man. I said, the problem is not that I'm handicapped. The problem is the delivery driver not doing their job. You just agreed it was their job to deliver packages to the address, correct? He said, yes. I said, the delivery driver is not doing their job. That's the problem. And that's compounded by the fact that I am handicapped. The problem itself is not that I'm handicapped. It's because the driver is not doing his job. So he asked if he can put me on hold and he's looking up stuff. And I'm just, 
on the phone just like me and you jesus on the third floor i need you right now because i don't want to go off on this man <laughs> So he comes back and he says, okay, I've escalated the complaint that the delivery driver didn't deliver your packages to your door. Would you like a replacement? I was so done. I hesitated. I was so done. Because I had already told him three times. I just said, sure. And he said, okay. And I said, so if this happens again, do I just call back again? I was guaranteed last time I called that this would never happen again if this. So do I just call every time this happens? And he says, oh, it shouldn't happen again. I said, that's what the last person said a couple weeks ago. I said, okay. And he's like, well, you're replacing the center. And I'm just... just <laughs> like, can you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Apparently not. The replacements came today. And when I checked my mail, I'm just like, and it was in my mailbox. One order was two packs of the sponge tip applicators. And there's only four or five in here because I put them away in my tin that I keep them in. So one package was two packs of these and the other package was a shirt. They were both in my mailbox. So I'm like, why didn't they just put them in my mailbox in the first place instead of leaving them downstairs on the ground floor? Versus delivering them to my door. All right, so moving on. Please, please, if this is happening to you, let me know. Because I just refuse to believe I'm the only one. And I know I'm not the only one in my building. Because when I do see boxes down there, I'll look. And I see other addresses, boxes stacked up in front of the maintenance door. So I know I'm not the only one where I live in this building. But for you who are watching, let me know. if, if I mean, solidarity. Hashtag solidarity. Like, let me know I'm not the only one outside of the people in this section that I live in here. So the third thing, Sephora. I know I'm, I know I'm stalling. I'm not stalling. I'm just hesitating. So I'm trying to just maintain some form of troll composure. Some form of troll composure. Because y'all know sometimes troll got attitude. <laughs> I never use 500 points for $10. I never do that. Because if you add it up, 500, 10, 1000, 20, 1500, 30, 2040, 2550. So if you do that five times, that's $50. If you save up 2500 points, you can get a $100 reward with Majiga thing. So for the same amount of points, you get double the amount that you can spend, right? Okay. And I do have a Sephora Visa card. So whether I'm shopping at Sephora or somewhere else, I still do earn points. And then sometimes they have, you know, certain amount of points, you know, for this week for Rouge or whatever. And, and that's usually when I shop. And then also during the Sephora sales. Anyway, so July 7th, you know, went online cashed in, well, traded in the 2,500 points for a $100 reward card thing. And I also don't like that it's all electronic. Like, they don't send you a gift card. It's all electronic. And I hadn't used one of those in so long. It's probably been, like, over a year. So I, I just forgot. So it's like, oh, it'll come in your... We'll send it to you. So it was in my order. Ordered another Natasha done on the Blush Duo. So it showed the Blush Duo, and then it showed that I had redeemed points for the $100 thing. And so I'm like, okay, cool. So I placed an online order and it was for another Natasha Denona blush duo. They were 30% off y'all. And the shades they had available were not the ones that were available on the Natasha site when she had that same sale for 30% off. So I was like, oh, cause those are the ones I wanted because they were deeper shades. And one was an orange and y'all know orange blush lately has just been fire. And so, I ordered another blush. It was like $26 and some change, right? So then I go back and I'm looking what I might want to get. Any makeup I buy is a want. I have more than enough stuff. Even though my collection is teeny tiny compared to a lot of people, I I have everything that, that I want. And I'm not even going to say need because makeup is a luxury to even have, okay? So I'm like, okay, well, I'll get this, I'll get that. And I did remember that using the rewards thing 
you cannot do refunds or exchanges. And so I said, okay, let me get stuff I know I like. So I was going to get um, another Sills Boost, Lancome, Lash Mascara Primer, a couple more of the Rare Beauty concealer brushes. Because I only have one and I really like it. And y'all know I always purchase a duplicate. So I'm like, I'll get two of those. Um, and it was like something else. And so I go online and place an order. And like, there, there was not an option to add points. And it wasn't even showing that I had a balance for the points. And so I'm like, wait a minute. So I had went through Rakuten to Sephora. So I said, let me just go to the Sephora site. Points were not showing up. I'm just like, let me take my little tan troll ass to Sephora. It's only like 10 minutes away. So I went to Sephora. I go up to someone and I say, are you familiar with the rewards exchange where you exchange 2,500 points for a hundred dollar thing? And she was like, yeah. I said, never mind. I was somebody else. Cause I just didn't feel like, <laughs> So I found somebody else and they were kind of like, huh? And I'm just like, oh my God, like, how do y'all work here? And y'all don't know this. And so I explained it to her and she said, well, I'll go get somebody else. So I'm like, okay, so now this is the third person I'm talking to in Sephora. And this one, she was, and all of them were really nice. I've never had any issue uh, with Sephora employees in the store. And so I'm talking to her and I'm telling her what happened. And she pulled up my account on their computer. It didn't show I even had an account. And I'm just like... I've been shopping here for like over 10 years. So she said, can you pull up on your phone? So I did and it kept spinning and spinning and spinning because you're inside the mall, inside Sephora. So it finally came up. And so she's touching my phone and I'm just like, COVID. <laughs> and so <laughs> anyway, so she's, you know, going into and trying to find the points and she did see where it showed I purchased it. And it was only that one purchase after that, in which I earned 27 points. And so the blush duo, it was less than $27. I said, that's the one purchase I made. So you saw where I purchased, well not purchased, you saw where I exchanged and received the $100 and then you see I earned 27 points. So I said, if you minus that, that my balance is like 68 something dollars. My balance is whatever's left. And so she's like, hmm. She's like, I'm not seeing where it's, it's a balance through to use and I'm like I know that's why I came into the store because I wasn't finding it on my account online and so she's looking and she's looking and she says well I'll call corporate she calls corporate long story short corporate says in their terms and conditions you have to use the $100 in one transaction or you forfeit whatever's left I said this is unacceptable I said it's unacceptable because when I made that one purchase that small purchase it showed me what my balance was. It did not say anything about you will forfeit if you don't add more stuff to your cart and purchase more stuff right now. It did not say that. I said, if they're going to have it where you forfeit your balance, it needs to show you your balance and say that you will forfeit this amount. Showing me a balance led me to believe I could use that balance. So I said, this is unacceptable. I'm like, store credit, gift card or something. I'm like, this is unacceptable. And she says, why? So she put me on hold. She came back and she said, well, I spoke to, you know, my supervisor and we're standing by the terms and conditions and blah, blah, blah. I said, so you're telling me, even though it showed me a balance, I can't use it. She says, that's correct. Listen. shaved and y'all can see I cut my hair um and for like the fifth time she said we're standing by blah 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 you know you have to use all I said you just said that like five times I heard you each time you said it what I'm saying is is you're telling me it showed me a balance that I couldn't use that's what's unacceptable and so I'm asking for that to be remedied a one-time exception or something. When we're standing by our, I handed the phone back to the cashier. I said, I'm done listening to her. She keeps saying the same thing and I'm trying to, yeah. So she talks to the lady again and then she hangs up. And I said, and she cut, and she was very apologetic. She's like, I'm really sorry. I said, is there anything you can do? I said, because to show me a balance and then say I, I forfeited it, that's unacceptable. And she said, I'm really sorry. I cannot do anything. And she's talking low tone, calm. She was very professional. And, and her tone being low made, I'm not going to say made me, but it helped me to calm down. And I knew that she wasn't the problem. Sephora is the problem. Like corporate Sephora is the problem. And 
you know, I might store credit or give card, something. She's like, I really cannot. That's why I called corporate because they need to approve when we do things like that. And so I did have stuff there. I had the Rare Beauty concealer brushes, Lancome Lash Mascara Primer. Um, and I think I had the Milk. <laughs> I'm tripping. Eyeshadow Primer because I'm almost out of the Fenty one, even though I do have a backup. But the Fenty one I'm using is almost done. So I thought, you know, I'll try the, the Milk one since I do like the Milk Hydro Grip Face Primer. And so I put my glasses back on. And she said, well, do you still want this stuff? I looked at her. I said, no. She said, you have over 600 points. You can use 500 for $10 off. I said, no. Thank you, though. You have a good day. She said, you too. I turned around and left the store. And so, just to remind you, if you do save up to 2,500 or more points, and you exchange them for a $100 reward thing. It expires within three months. The same as if you get cash rewards. It expires within three months. It does have the date of when it expires. And you do have to use all of it in one transaction. I don't feel like I should have to remember that. <laughs> I love Ulta's reward system. You can save your points from now to eternity and then just use them as ever you want to use them. I love that. And so I made a decision today. If something is at Ulta that says Sephora, I'm getting it from Ulta. Sephora will still get me if it's like 30% off or something like that or something that's half off. Other than that, and I'll still earn points because I use their Visa card. But I'm just, I shouldn't have to remember that. And even though you're saying it's in the terms and conditions, Number one, the fine print is like this long at the bottom of the email. And number two, if you show me a balance, I think I can use that. You see what I'm saying? So that to me was what the issue was. Don't show me something I can't use without telling me I will forfeit it if I don't use it. And so, yeah, it, it was my bad. It was my fault. It was. Learn from the troll. If you get one of those, you have to use it in one transaction. And if you do shop at Sephora a lot, don't use the 500 points for 10. Because if you end up saving 2,500, you get 100 versus 50. Um, but if you're shopping at Sephora sporadically and you're only earning five or 600 points like for the whole year, then yeah, go ahead and use, use it for $10 off. But otherwise, like if you're an avid shopper, you know, just save them up. Just use the 100 in one transaction. But that's all for me today. And that was enough. Uh... Yeah, I think all of you are just like, okay, when is she going to stop? I'm going to stop right now. So just let me know. Look at this pocket of fat right here. Actually, it's just extra skin, but anyway. Let me know your experiences with customer service with Sephora. If you've had issue with them. Um, um, who else did I say? BoxyCharm. It says it's delivered and it's not. And Amazon, if they're delivering your stuff actually to your door or somewhere else. I refuse to believe I'm the only one. I do. Cause, uh, okay, I'm going to go. Stuff will pop up over here for you to look at. Uh, you'll see me in the next video. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, thanks for listening to my event, my rant, and all of that.